Impeachment proceedings are beginning, and we are finally starting to see President Donald J. Trump is going to be held accountable for his actions. So, on the screen here, you can see a section of the Constitution. No title of nobility shall be granted by the United States. No person holding any office or a profit or trust under a profit or trust under them shall, without the consent of Congress, accept any present emolument, office, or title, or any kind whatsoever, from any king, prince, or foreign state. What this means is that any member of the United States government who is getting any sort of financial benefit from a foreign government must receive consent of Congress before they receive the gift. Now, this is where uh, Pru versus Trump comes in. Um, the defendant has violated the Constitution since the opening moments of his presidency and is poised to do so continually for the duration of his administration. Specifically, the defendant has committed and will commit violations of both foreign emoluments clause and the domestic emoluments clause involving at least a. Lutz is held by foreign government owned entities in New York's Trump Tower. B. Room reservations, restaurant purchases, the use of facilities, and the purchase of other goods and services by foreign governments and diplomats, state governments, and federal agencies at defendants, Washington, D.C. hotel and restaurant. Hotel stays. C. Hotel stays, property leases, restaurant purchases, and other, government, and other business transactions tied to foreign governments, state governments, and federal agencies at other domestic and international establishments owned, operated, and licensed by the defendant. D. Mike made my point. And it keeps going on the list. But basically what it is meaning is that Donald J. Trump has been, since the beginning of his administration, this case has been going on now since June 9, 2017. It's been going on for over two years. Where this case provides proof that Donald Trump has been taking, taking money from um, foreign governments at his hotels, which is a violation of the Emoluments Clause. As soon as the evidence of this came out, Congress should have immediately proceeded for impeachment trials. And because what we are doing is... Now, the reason this is important, first of all, is because if a foreign government is able to, to, dis, to do business directly with the president without directly... Um, or another member of Congress, they can then say, oh, you know, I would go to your hotel, but I will only do that if you decide, you know, stop defending the Kurds. Or, uh, I will only do this if you decide, um, that you will stop this other activity. Now, right now, Turkey is invading Kurdistan, Syria, and this is because the United the President of the United States, without the consent of Congress, has decided to resolve, absolve, dissolve our alliance with the Kurds, despite all the assistance they have done um, on fighting ISIS, who are right, who, who plummeted, plummeted their homeland. Um, this is why emoluments matter, is because how do we know that um, Erdogan was not doing business with Trump at his hotels? And if we can, well, let's look it up. There you go. <sighs> Donald Trump's longtime business connections in Turkey back in the spotlight. Which means this is why the Emoluments Clause matters. We need to ensure that, um, I'm certain this is because there was some business deal he was doing with somebody in Turkey who is allied with Erdogan who wants to invade Kurdistan. Um, Kurdistan and Syria, the most Kurds live in Turkey, um, and that influences Trump's decision. This is why the monuments matter. This must be part of the impeachment process. I implore my representative, Denny Heck, my, my senators, Cantwell and Murray, and Speaker of the House Pelosi, to make sure this is, that the emoluments have been in the impeachment case, because otherwise we're sending the green light for corruption forevermore. And this is not acceptable. We need to ensure that our government is held accountable. We need to ensure that our, our politicians are not um, being bribed. Because that's what this is. And this is corruption. And, and Congress has the constitutional mandate to impeach 
because Donald J. Trump has violated the Emoluments Clause. That is it.